All right, real quick, let's get to this. Let's start with the saddest story we got this weekend. I almost didn't believe this. Uh, once we heard about it, the veteran Hollywood actor, Amechi Munwago, uh, dying at the age of 61. Literally the saddest story we heard this weekend. Now, Amechi, he was said to have suffered from kidney failure and he was on dialysis. However, this is not news because he has been on dialysis for a while. Uh, the news of his demise just came a few days after a viral video where the actor solicited funds to help him have a kidney transplant. Now, his death is coming even as Nigerians are yet to gripple with the realities of the death of Nollywood actor John Okafor, better known as Mr. Ibu, who recently died. Of course, as usual, we saw lots of fans going on social media to mourn the passing of the actor known for his comical roles on screen. Now, if there's one person that I'm deeply thinking about right now, it is the very viral and, you know, popular that's Aki and Popo, basically. I'm thinking of them right now because within the space of one month, they have lost two people that were so integral to their individual careers. You know, from movies like um, Akina Ukwa or uh, Mr. Ibu, these are, these, are, these are movies that, even Aki and Popo, the movie in itself, he was in that film. And you ask yourself, how are they coping at this time? You know, how, how are they doing? Well, let's take a look at how you're doing because you have been talking about it. Well, let's take a look at some of your reactions to the Nollywood veterans passing. Let's take a look at the first tweet. This tweet says, deeply heartbroken by the news of Amechi Monago's passing. He was a talented Nollywood actor whose presence on our screens was truly masterful. We watched with concern as he battled health issues, offering whatever support we could to help him seek treatment in India. This tragic loss highlights the need for better health care in our country. Not only does it highlight the need for better health care in our country, it also highlights the need for better how do we put it? Because there's been a debate for the longest time. The, is, is, it an, is it an issue of remuneration or is it an issue of consolidating that remuneration? What exactly is the problem here? As we find a lot of our veteran actors stuck in places where they're unable to cater to themselves. Or is it just the harsh realities of, of illnesses? The fact that no matter how much you have, it's, it's a tragedy that just sucks everything out of you. Let's take a look at another reaction to this situation. Uh, first of all, it starts out with a heartbroken emoji. Ongyo Uibo says, we need sound health care here. More than anything, we can't afford to be losing our people to illness on every AK market day. I pray the good Lord gives the family the fortitude to be at this immeasurable loss. It is definitely a very, very hard blow to take in. We have other reactions. Let's move right on. Uh, to some of those with a space of illnesses ravaging our veterans in the creative industry. Hmm. We should really advocate for equality health insurance for the players in this industry as this will help take care of their health and prevent such terminal illnesses in the future. Health insurance for actors. Is this something the Actors Guild of Nigeria might be willing to add uh, to the things that it provides to the actors within its guild? Perhaps we could have that conversation. Let's move right on to another reaction. In Cameroon, we refer to him as Ag Agui. I hope I said that right. The name derived from one of his star movie, I, my respect, rest in peace. I think that's the, okay, we have one more. And sad to see Nollywood actors that, that were largely involved in my, ch I know, in my childhood gone. Amechi Monago was an all-round actor. I know. I remember how he would, you know, to, to, to emphasize his words, he would, his eyes would beam so widely and, you know, he would stretch his lips to one side of his face just to emphasize something. Especially when one of those, you know, one of the two of them, whether Aki or Popo, had done something that was terrible, he would, uh, you know. And these are things that they did oh so naturally. They made us laugh. They sometimes made us cry, but with absolute joy. And these are films that we are so grateful we are able to still lay our hands on because right now this is the only way that they continue to live with us in our memories, in our hearts, and of course, in their films. Now speaking about movies, have you been talking about this as well? I know you have, but don't worry, okay? Enough of the like hush hush conversations, okay? Let's bring it out. So Sharon Oja is married. Yeah, she is, this is, this is, can I be honest? Not very shocking because I have strongly believed there's time for everything. The reason why this is so shocking to some people is because some people are just, I don't understand. Why is it so shocking that she got married without telling her fans? 
again, <laughs> why would she want to tell her fans? I mean, quite honestly, someone once told me that the most important things to you or the things that are dearest to you, it's best to keep them to yourself, especially when you're in the public space. If you really care about something, just keep it to yourself. And if we know anything about this, this video, which I'm going to show you because it is just so cute, she really cares about this man because we did not even see his, his, his limp. We didn't even see, his, okay, we saw his finger. So if you, in case you are trying to decipher who she married, <laughs> look at the finger, maybe you can guess. She didn't even give us an eye. Even, okay, like, <laughs> I love it. I just have to say, I love it. This is how she announced that was man to the world. She said that their civil rights are done and now she's looking forward to a very exciting traditional and um, white wedding. We can't wait to see, you know, everything about this. I think Sharon Ojai is so beautiful. We've had her on the show before and this is our own way of just telling her congratulations. We are, we are so excited for you. Do it, do it. Love up, okay? This is how Odogu Silenza. Yes, take a look at the video. Questions for you, Sharon Audrey. So, first question is: Are you going to have a private white wedding and trad? Because I mean, I would have thought that you know we'll be there to cover all the great stuff. If it's not a private wedding, because if it's a private wedding, then we will get to see his face. You know, what my suspicion is maybe she's pacing, pacing us like suspense. She's a, she's an actress and she's gifted in the art, so maybe that's what's happening. You know, but really, it's 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 her choice if she chooses to show his face or not. The most important thing here is that she, she is incredibly happy did you see that smile it was literally ear to ear like it was as wide as can be and sharana oja has a beautiful smile but enough of my thoughts enough 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 let's take a look at what you think because that's what we do here on what's trendy we talk about you so let's take a look at what you have to say on twitter let's take a look at the first reaction hmm oh ladies and gentlemen i love this tweet after seeing how you guys have treated moses bliss you know and I'm just gonna give context to every single person. Moses Bliss gets married and everybody comes for his wife's dress. They had this and that to say, she should have done this, she should have done that. I'm not gonna glorify the kind of things they said, but they had not very nice things to say. And then Vicky James gets married and they're like, oh, Vicky James, why are you doing so much? On top of her own wedding. You know, they had the, again, horrible things to say about her partner as well. And then Mr. Theophilus, Minister Theophilus announced his own engagements, and they still had something to say. The irony about the criticism was the things they said Moses Bliss's wife didn't do, they now criticize Mr. Minister Theophilus' wife for doing. It's like, what, what, what do people want in life on this social media? As I said, this planet eh, is a very heated space. This person is saying that based on these things, I totally understand why Sharon Oja didn't show her husband's face. You guys are just mean. I'm sorry, some of you guys are just really, really, really mean. And some people just don't want that. This tweet says, I've watched that Sharon Oja's video an unhealthy amount of times. I didn't know it's possible to feel this much happiness with someone you don't know. I know. Like, I would say living vicariously through the video, pretty much, you know? Let's move on to another reaction from you. What did you have to say? Erika Kachi, my namesake. Hey, hi Kachi. Basically says, congratulations are in order. As award-winning actress Sharon Oja, popular from the... Ugh. Okay, let's just, let's just go with Kachi's tweet, okay? From the popular and Danny TV series, Kitty Girl in Transit gets married to her evil king. I love the fact that she protected his identity before social media diggers begin to dig away their destiny. But you know what I think? Things like this make them even more vicious. 
you wouldn't you don't know the lengths to which people would go to get this information that's how you'll be out having dinner maybe i call you one day you just see somebody with a phone <laughs> videoing you and you're like why are you videoing me next thing you see is a, is a video of you unexpectedly on the social media space so yeah, you gotta work extra hard to keep that identity a secret. Hopefully it plays out the way you want to. Let's move on to another reaction. Who amongst y'all proposed to <laughs> who is this? Hey, yeah. Let's well let's let's give a moment, like 10 seconds of silence to every single guy out there who thought he was gonna marry Sharon Sharon Oja. Yeah, that's about it. Sorry guys, she's taking it off the market. Which brings me to my final point. The longer you wait, the longer you wait and you analyze and you calculate, the sooner your partner or your hopeful partner would possibly get taken away from you. So if not anything, this Sharon Oja story teaches us one thing. Shoot your shot ASAP. It's no longer news that the love of my life, Sharon Oja, is married and another man. This is from Abate. So I'm broken. I'm grateful for your kind words and sentiments. However, as for privacy, as my family and I try to navigate these difficult times, I'm going to say I feel for you. I really, really do. And I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry about this one. Okay, take heart. Next time, shoot your shot faster. Okay, well, let's get out of this conversation because we have to talk about the AMVCA. The 10th African Magic Viewers Choice Awards is happening. The organizers at Multi Choice Nigeria, they've announced the list of nominations over the bridge, leading with 12 nominations. Tolu Ajayi is over the bridge with 12 nominations, including Best Movie, Best Director, Best Lead Actress. It is the most nominated film this year, followed by CJ Obas's black and white film, Mami Wata, which snagged 11 nominations. Remember, it was in the running, in consideration, not as an official nominee, to be Oscar nominated. Now, Breath of Life and Jagun Jagun, the warrior, snagged 10 nominations each. Now, and VCA, they're making a change this year, you know, with the best actor, actress, supporting actor, supporting actress categories to be determined by a jury instead of public votes. Maybe this will reduce the criticism that they've often gotten over these categories. <laughs> like, I don't even ask for anything anymore. I just want him to show up. Why can't he do that? Falai, you can't roll with the big fish without swimming the deep end. Will this affect project? 